Kitchen. Hello everyone and welcome back to Berto's Kitchen. Today is a wonderful day outside. This year, spring is earlier than ever. We must celebrate this. So I want to bring you in my territory and introduce you to the finest chef around town, Giuliano Pacini. At the restaurant Buca di Sant'Antonio here in Lucca. To make you understand what you're talking about, there's a document from April 1782 speaking about this restaurant. We're talking about history here. Giuliano taught me a recipe that emits tradition even just from a picture. But don't get fooled, it's just apparently a poor recipe. It was made exclusively for Napoleon's sister. There's a legend where Elisa Bonaparte Basciocchi screamed gourmet while tasting it. Garmuja, gourmet, garmuja, gourmet, garmuja, gourmet, garmuja, gourmet. Garmuja. Gourmet. Garmuja. Gourmet. Only the finest newborn vegetables make it into this dish. Enriched by veal, this was absolute luxury in the early 19th century. Artichokes, onions, green peas, beans, asparagus points. These are all the spring gems that can't be missing on this recipe. While the veal meat and the pork belly will enhance the flavor of our superb broth. I'm super excited to make this historical recipe for you. Let's go on the stove. As always, we start from the mise en place. Let's take care about the veggies, starting from the artichokes. Fill a bowl with fresh water and squeeze half a lemon in it. This will prevent them from oxidizing. Remove the outer bracts and clean the stem. Then cut it on top and divide it in slices. Try to do this as quickly as possible. Oxidation happens very quickly with artichokes. Second ingredient to take care of are the spring onions. Super easy. Remove the outer layer and the roots. Make a nice and pretty cut on top and divide them in half. And here they are, nice and pretty. Then pick up the cured bacon and cut some slices. I like them to be quite thick, but feel free to choose the texture you love the most. When you're done, pick up some bread and again cut it in slices. Remove the outer crust and cut the remaining bread in cubes. How could we call this a soup without roasted bread? You can do this in a pan or in the oven. I chose to do that in a pan just to make it more romantic and traditional. Heat up a thread of oil and saute the bread until everything is crispy and of a nice golden color. Just make sure not to burn everything. It may happen very quickly. Now that you're set, throw in a large pot the cured bacon and roast it until it gets slightly crispy and golden. Then, all the fats that melted will be the base to roast the minced veal meat. Here comes the easy part. Throw in all the veggies, spring onions, green peas, asparagus tips, beans and artichokes. Cover with broth and put the burner on high heat until everything starts boiling. Then, reduce the flame and let it cook for at least 20 minutes. Super fast and easy! Here's your garmuja. And that's Garmuja, Italian style. Time to taste. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, guys. Fantastic flavors. The most important thing is to obtain a broth full of umami. Then every vegetable will bring its flavor one by one. And all is exalted by the cubes of roasted bread which enhances the texture situation. Today I'm showing you the real Italian tradition. It's super easy to reproduce and you must do it at home. And if you did, don't be shy and leave a comment about your experience. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. See you next week.